The Singles Inferno, a Netflix high drama series, has made an official announcement about the release of a third season. The season 3 premiere date for the Netflix global top 10 show has not been made public yet. Nonetheless, it has been promised that most of the recent edition will bring forth some interesting changes. But before starting the show, you should be mindful of this information regarding The Singles Inferno Season 3. Renewed or Cancelled Fans may be wondering if there will be a third season now that Singles Inferno Season 2 has concluded. The renewal of Season 3 of the Netflix original series has just been announced, alleviating viewers' anticipation. However, the release date has not yet been announced and it will be aired on television as well as other OTT platforms following the customary release date. Is the trailer for Season 3 out? The trailer for the third season has not yet been made available. Viewers will have to wait patiently to learn what happens to the show as things are currently in suspense. Is the season worth watching? The Singles Inferno is a reality dating show which is in contrast to western dating shows. Being exposed to a show that doesn't obsess about the sexualized aspects of relationships and instead concentrates on the subtleties of interaction and communication is incredibly refreshing. Because of the short season runtime, viewers can easily become captivated and want to know more about each character and where the relationships with one another will take them. Several episodes can be binge watched in a single sitting. On the flip, Singles Inferno struggles to strike a balance between being enjoyable and uninteresting. It fluctuates between breathtaking moments and drawn-out vacant stares, but nevertheless manages to keep your attention. This may provide promise for this relatively unknown part of Korean media, which is becoming increasingly popular in an age of ever-increasing international content. The cast for Singles Inferno Season 3 the final lineup of Season 3 candidates has not yet been disclosed by Netflix. However, the cast of Singles Inferno first and second seasons, including a diverse group of people including a student called Shin Seul Ki and the influencer Song Ji Ah, the barista Choi Jong Woo, and others. Jae Won and Na Hyun recently discussed the Singles Inferno casting procedure in a recent interview. We searched hashtags on social media, hashtag girls work out or hashtag guys work out, which seemed to be trending, and I thought it would fit well with the show's setting on a hot summer beach, he commented. Many applicants have said to have submitted applications after seeing the recruitment posters. The premiere date for Season 3 the filming procedure is rather short since the show truly does take place over the course of 9 days. For a December premiere, the Season 1 cast and crew have filmed between the end of June and the start of July 2021. Netflix cancelled Single Infernos in December 2022 after announcing that the second season renewal in April 2022. Season 3 of Singles Inferno will likely resume in December of 2023. Is the show scripted? Although there are events that are pre-planned, it turns out that Singles Inferno is not scripted despite the fact that most reality show is put up in many ways. In response to this, a former contestant on the show, Song Ji Ah, has allegedly claimed at an online Q&A discussion that the show isn't scripted. I have to tell you that it really wasn't, she added. Also, that it doesn't make much sense for everything to have been planned. How can we follow script when we're not even actors, and all the participants acted the way they wanted? Nevertheless, they don't stage or manipulate the feelings they display. There were prompts and editing alterations, but they were just done for some intense dramatic flair considering the amount of time, money, and other resources needed to put together such a series. What is The Singles Inferno Season 3 going to be about? The show usually has consistent themes throughout each season, but we can't be certain. While looking for love on the island in past seasons, candidates were forbidden from sharing any kind of their personal information, so the third season of Singles Inferno is most likely to follow a similar pattern. This program is like taking a long, deep breath of clean air. The calm and intellectual attitude to romance that is prevalent in Asia contrasts sharply with the Western ideal of passionate, physical wooing. The girls are dispersed over the island, making it challenging for the boys to find one on foot, which makes the finale seem strange. That seems like a huge waste of time to be going back and forth like this and keeping the other party waiting, and we wonder if the desired tension was produced. The climax is only adequate. The Location of Singles Inferno The location for the show was not disclosed by Netflix. Naturally, this was short-lived as the internet users rapidly learned all of the details and discovered that the island is called Saisum Bongdo, which is situated in Ongjin country in Incheon. According to the Incheon tourist website, the private deserted island known as Sado can be reached by boat that runs regularly through the high season. If you plan to travel alone, the boat fee is 83.50 USD to $12 per boat ride. Exquisite like real-life heaven, participants and viewers alike 
everybody desires a trip to the ideal island. The famous Paradise Hotel is near Incheon International Airport. It's only an hour from Seoul. The elegance of the hobby and its facilities may not be prominently featured on the reality show, but the actual location is stunning. The hotel has numerous stores, eateries, casinos, and other amenities. It is extremely comfortable. For those who desire a stay, an average room would run you about 430 USD per night. As for the luxurious accommodation, it is the Grand Deluxe Pool Villa, similar to the drama Singles Inferno, where Jin Taek So Yeon and other couples went on dates. It consists of a dining area, a sizable bedroom, and a private pool. A personal caretaker is also provided, and the cost of the stay is $15,000 per night. Guests have access to all of the areas of the hotel, and it's like a paradise in real life, and is being referred to as the ultimate luxury. New rules for Season 3 Season 2 in particular produced a lot of over immerses owing to each member's more in-depth narrative and more melodramatic-like relationship. Thanks to this intense curiosity, Singles Inferno Season 3 will return with more intriguing new characters. In furthermore, places and rules like Paradise and Inferno hint at recent alterations. Season 2 made it possibly too close and gently observe the soloist's feelings since setting the rules were familiar and is likely to display the Singles Inferno. So what are the ratings for the show? The show's rating have had a significant role in determining its future. Ratings have consistently been high with an average of 7.1-10 on IMDb and a 7.8-10 on My Drama List for each season. The audience has been quite involved with the presentation, particularly in the female audience. Reviews on Singles Inferno Compared to other dating shows, this one is a lot less crude. The respect and consideration shown by everyone are interesting. The show portrays a completely different version of the Western dating shows. It's not about attractive physical features, but regarding being healthy, having food, etc. Korean men are often feminine, but on the contrary, these men are self-confident and care about themselves like dressing well and having proper skincare. How many episodes of Singles Inferno Season 3 will be there? Production on Singles Inferno 3rd season has already started, but the precise number of episodes has not yet been decided. Since the show is still under production, the writers may still be modifying the show's details, which could vary the number of episodes, yet if the authors stick to the standard episode count for the shows on the network, the show might have 8 episodes. So where can you watch Singles Inferno Season 3? Singles Inferno is originally aired on television. Moreover, the series is also available on almost all major OTT platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and Prime Videos. In addition to that, most cable operators provide Singles Inferno as a part of their cable package, giving the customer access to the full series. But anyways, keep an eye out for this lineup of upcoming reality TV shows, and if you need to satisfy your thirst right away, it might be the time to watch Singles Inferno again. Also, keep an eye out for further updates on the show and a confirmed release date. Anyways, that's it for now. Goodbye.